All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Java to select a file. Um, we're going to use the Java Swing protocol, and these are some other imports that we use. Um, AWT is for a lot of um, user interface stuff, and this is an event handler that's actually going to listen for a button to be clicked. And we're going to choose a file. And so there are some Java input output type stuff going on. Um, so we we're going to extend the J panel, and we have an action listener that's listening for the button. Um, create the button here. This source folder is going to hold a string um, of the path to our source folder, and this is going to hold the actual file name. And this is our J file chooser, which is uh, kind of like our object that's going to we're going to use to help us select the file and that's just our, our title and let me see so actually I'll go down here because this kind of sets everything in motion we're creating a J frame um, add a panel and we're going to add a listener to that and we set the uh, size of the frame that looks at get preferred size which is right here it's just a small little frame which will pop up and it's going to have one button on it right and the button is going to say choose a folder right and so this is the constructor method that gets called when we run this um, project and because we actually create a object of the choose file class right here all right so when we go in there we we add our action listener for our button our button's name is go we add go to the panel and so then w once the button is actually clicked, that's this gets activated. We go in here and I do a little system out just to make sure it's all working, right? And we uh, initiate our chooser object and we use that to set a few parameters. We set the current directory. So what this does is if I didn't have this line, when I clicked on the choose file button, it would not take us into our current directory, which is where this um, folder exists, where this project exists. That's where it's going to take us. I'll, I'll show you one with this um, off and one with it on. If I commented this out, it would just take us to the root directory of your computer and start from there. Um, that sets the dialog title, uh, which we shows up here. And this allows us to create um, filters for what type of files we want to be able to select. If I didn't have this, and you don't have to, I can get rid of these two lines, and all files will be available. This project is a, this is part one of a, a multi-part series that's going to show you how to manipulate images, but this part I'm just kind of showing you how you can choose files. And this is how you can, so right here I could, I could put anything in here, that's just kind of a, a title, and then these are the actual files which we want to filter out. They're the ones that are available for us to select. Um, and then uh, selection mode, you could have, I have commented out here, you could have files and directories, directories only or files only. Well, we want to just select the file, so I did file only in there. All right, and so once this if statement is basically saying, hey, once an approved file is selected, let's go ahead and do some stuff in here. And what we're doing is we're going to get the, this is a little helper method that is something that Java makes available to us. We use with our chooser object and we can say, hey, get current directory. We're going to save it as a string. And by the, uh, I put those empty quotes because otherwise this doesn't um, create a string for us. So that it's like a little workaround trick to make this um, into a string. So that saves the, the direction to the current directory, wherever we chose the file. Um, this gets the actual file that is selected and creates a file object out of it. Um, and really the only reason I'm doing that is so that I can get the um, file name uh, as I do here. This little if statement is just something, it's kind of like a little workaround because um, if I, uh, so by default when the current directory is selected, um, it puts a dot at the end. And uh, the reason I did that is because by default, when the current directory is selected, it gives actually a forward slash to. Um, I could have done this a couple ways, but I just said, hey, let me look and see if there's a dot there in the last character of the um, 
file path. If there is, then I know I'm in the, the current directory where this project originated. And I just want to make sure I get rid of that dot. And then I save the source file. With, um, so this gets rid of the dot right here. It goes up into the end, but does not include it. And then I'm going to save the path to that file. Um, and the else part is, if it's not in the current directory, we don't have to worry about that dot. So we just save the source file there, you know, the path to that source file. So it's the whole directory plus the file name. And then I just system out of these so that we uh, make sure it's working okay. Um, so let me let me show you. Let's run this. So if I click the main method and pops up the little corner of our screen here, choose file. You see the button click little system out came up. So I only have access to um, images, file types, the GIFs, JPEGs, and um, PNGs. I can go further into um, directories, but I'm going to go back and stay here. And if I select that um, PNG, click it, and it says that's the path to that folder, and that's the actual file name. That's the whole path, which in the next video I'm going to show you why that's important. When we want to manipulate images, we need the direct path to that image so we can create a file out of it and then manipulate it further. Um, so let me just show you real quick, if I, if I took out this um, home directory part, then you'll notice when I choose folder that it's now I'm in my home directory. It didn't take me to that current folder, which is fine. You just got to decide which one's better for you. Um, and so I could kind of come in here and look for images, click on it open and I get the path and actually I can go back in here and click a different one too if I wanted to um, just so you can see that I'll, um, this one so that's how that works and let me know if you have any questions but this is a nice little interface you know, of course you can make this look a little nicer but um, it works and this is uh, a way that you can choose files or and, and or folders using Java you know, it's the start of a graphical user interface for such. Uh, thanks.